and only skilled professionals can tame a sport where perfection is an illusion. Fred Couples and Tom Watson have endured the fires of competition and emerged as world-class players. Today in Ireland, they go head to head. One of them will claim the coveted crystal on Shell's wonderful world of golf. Thank you, Jack. Well, it's a great pleasure for me to welcome back the Shell's wonderful world of golf to Ireland after so many years. I remember as a young boy, way back in the 60s, how excited we all were to wait to watch to see golf on television. It was, it was so exciting in those days, the first time we could ever see great players playing against each other. And what a pleasure it is for me to have two great players beside me today in this Shell's wonderful world of golf. Fred, it's not your first match in the uh, Shell's wonderful world of golf. You've played uh, two matches, two great victories before against Norman and Floyd. What about a match against your friend and the legendary Tom Watson today? I'm, I'm very much looking forward to playing Tom. Uh, admire his game my first few years on tour and then got to play with him quite a few times. And today is just another time where, uh, you know, it'll be fun and challenging. He's obviously uh, playing very well and, and looking forward to trying to hang in with him today. Now, Tom, you need no introduction in Ireland. Uh, you're, you're classified as an honorary Irishman. You've had a love affair I, with this... I uh, accept that, Roddy. <laughs> and let's hear your Irish accent. Uh, top of the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a, a love affair with golf in Ireland for many years. Well, tell me about that. Well, it was because of Sandy Tatum, uh, who, who introduced me uh, to Valley Bunyan in 1981, prior to the, the Open at uh, Royal St. George's. We uh, played on a beautiful day and, and had to go out and play some more after, uh, after lunch. And, and uh, th I, I knew at that time that uh, this, this was a course that I'd always want to come back to. And as a result, I've played many other courses, Lynx courses in Ireland, and uh, always enjoyed them and, and especially enjoy the people here. Good. Now, the match today in Mount Juliet against Fred, you've played one match before against Nictus. Uh, you lost that. What about taking on Fred today? Well, I hope it's the third time's the charm with Fred. <laughs> That's what I hope. <laughs> yeah. Well, the format of the match today is 18 holes stroke play. The winner will receive $100,000, the runner up $50,000, and it'll be played under the rules of the Royal and Ancient. It gives me particular pleasure in this moment to introduce the referee to the match, uh, a man who's played the Shells won of a world of golf way back in Ireland in 1963. In fact, he was the only amateur ever to play in the 108 matches of this series. He's the president of Mount Juliet, he's an ex-captain of the Royal and Ancient, and he also happens to be my father, Joe Carr. Hello, Joe. Good to see you. Hope you have a good game. Fred, you I'm calling. In the air. Uh, heads. Head it is, you have the choice. I'll let him hit first. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Good luck to you yeah, both. I'm sorry. Good luck both. Well, Thank Tom watching to hit first. What about this first hole here, Roddy? The opening hole at Mount Juliet, 363 yards, designed by Jack Reedy to get you off to a gentle start to the round. Generous fairway, plenty of width, no real trouble, and uh, a hole which the pros will be looking to birdie. No mercy, Freddie. I, I'm, I'm... Oh, so Tom is really out um, for it, huh? No mercy. <laughs> oh. Nice gray day. Beautiful day for Ireland. And a good gallery on hand. Beautifully placed by Tom Watson. Right. <laughs> now, Fred. That's a boomer. Perfect there, Freddy. Thanks, Tom. Hang on. Whoa, we got him. And water. hang on, it does in the fairway for Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> so both players successfully off the first tee. In a country full of wonderful golf courses, Valley Bunyan in County Curry ranks with the best. A windswept lynx land adjacent to the Atlantic Ocean that challenges all who visit. Almost unknown 30 years ago, Valley Bunyan is now a legend, receiving almost as many visitors as St. Andrews. Adair Manor in County Limerick is a lovely sample of Ireland's inland courses. 
as is Drummolin Castle, set in the grounds of a magnificent castle hotel. Donegal Golf Club is a beautiful links course with expansive fairways and greens, and is known for its panoramic views of the Atlantic Ocean and Donegal Hills. <laughs> and we are back at Mount Juliet on the fairway of the first hole. Second shots, Tom Watson to hit first. Now he's only got about uh, 90 yards here with a wedge. Punched it in low with spin. Not a great result, left it a little bit short. You like this club? Yes. Now Fred had a big tee shot here. He's only got 79 yards left and he's going with the sand wedge. Expect we might see Fred send this in air mail. Get up. Soft high floater. Oh, beautiful shot. Thank you. Here. Yeah, they're coming after me. This course, designed by Jack Nicholas, it opened in 1991 and has held three Irish yards. Four great players hold the course record at 65, and it'll cost you $110 to play here. First prize today is $100,000. The runner-up, of course, gets $50,000. A tie will result in an even split of the money. Now here's Tom Watson for birdie. Now he's got about a 25-footer up and across the slope. Greens are a little bit slower than normal after the heavy shower of rain early this morning. So we can be afford to be aggressive on this. Yeah, kept it on the high side. Stone dead. Now Fred, of course, has had the benefit of watching almost a similar line with Tom, so he's got about 12 foot, very holable. Just didn't have enough legs. Yeah. So two pars on the first hole, and both players are at even par. As we move to the second hole of Mount Juliet, a par four of 414 yards, both players have hit their tee shots. Watson to play first. Tom having a good look at this one. Uh, he bit off a little too much at the corner there, and he's left himself in a very awkward position. He's got a scruffy old lie in the rough. It's been wet. He's got the tree to go over. Didn't come out all that well, but he played it Shot. on the left side for safety. Out of there. Horrible yeah, line. Yes, indeed. Horrible about 30, 35 feet away. Yes, good commercial defensive shot. Not much more I could do out of that lie. Now, Fred, wind a little bit downwind. It's gusting up a little bit now. Pin in the middle of the green. No great problem for Fred. And the huge crowd gathering around here, all coming from 12 o'clock mass in the local village. Bite. Bite. Oh, oh magnificent. Yeah. Great Thanks. shot. You got there, huh? Yeah. It did indeed. We asked Tom Watson to talk a little bit about Freddie's marvelous swing. Freddie's swing is unique. Uh, he, uh, he, he grips the club a, little, a lot stronger than uh, than most people would say for a conventional grip, but uh, uh, he makes a, he makes a, a, a huge shoulder turn and generates a tremendous amount of club at speed with his transfer of his weight. Uh, I marvel at that, and I uh, uh, I think he has a unique swing uh, all his own. Well, we all marvel at it, Tom. It's so languid and lovely to look at. Tom Watson two putted for par. Now Freddie trying to convert with a birdie. So a par for Fred Couples and a par for Tom Watson. And at the end of two holes, both players are even par. This third hole, par three, enters a particularly picturesque part of the estate down in the little valley. And as you can see, Nicholas has created a huge water feature in front of the green. It can play about a six or a seven iron again, depending on the wind. And uh, of course, the key here is the pin position on the left hand side, tempting the golfer once again, and in that bunker on the right to catch the, the coward, as we say. Yeah, have a little fun with this one, Roddy. Beautiful hole. Tom Watson still with the honors. 
Yes, he's elected to play a seven iron, but again, the wind gusting, imperative to get the distance right here. Ah. Get out, honey. Well, a little bit of safety first for Tom, long and right, but uh, it's early days in this match. A little too far. Now, Fred going with an eight iron. Of course, he hits the ball so high with the wind behind him, it should be just about perfect. Sit down. Oh, yes, brave shot from Thanks. Couples, Thanks. and he's been rewarded. Another chance for a birdie. Third hole in a row for Freddie in birdie range. Now, Tom Watson. He's left himself for all 35 feet, slightly downhill again. Didn't get the pace right at all on the last one. It'll be interesting to see if he can get the feel. Not sure he's hit that hard enough. Short time, yeah. Yes, they look a lot faster than they actually are. That rain yesterday and the early this morning has slowed them down considerably. But the rain hasn't kept the people away, right down to the water's edge. As they look across now for Freddie Couples, but. Now he's got the, really his third opportunity here to take the lead. 12 foot, a little bit of a barrel on this one, coming off a bump. Oh, he shaved it. Three solid, perfect pars for couples. Tom left with his uh, testing little four-footer. I remember Eamon Darcy, one of the great Irish players, told me recently he's about the same age as Tom. He said, I'm getting real tired of these four and five footers, and I'm sure Tom's getting tired of this length of putt in his life. Well, that ought to make him a little less tired, Roddy. Nice par for Tom Watson. And so at the end of three holes of play, they're all even, but Freddie has missed three golden opportunities for birdie. That brings us to the fourth hole. What's this one like, Roddy? Jack, this fourth hole, still in the picturesque valley, probably provides the most difficult driving test on the golf course. The players have got to carry that little tree on the corner. You see the river working its way up the left-hand side. They've got to carry it out there about 230. Interesting to see if they select a, to drive it or to hit a one iron. If they do that and get it out there, they have a second shot to a green, which is, again, well protected by water. Uh, it'll be hitting no more than an eight or a nine iron here. But uh, a hole which many consider to be the signature hole here at Mount Juliet. And still holding the honor, Tom Watson with a three wood. He's let that one go out to the right. Coming in. Nope, hits the tree and there it is. On the hillside in the rough. What did do, Bruce? Not a very enviable position to be in. That's a front of the tree, I believe. Also a three wood for Fred. Probably aim a bit more left than Tom, but it's hard because there's uh, that river creeping up the left hand side with those rushes at about 210 to 15 yards from the tee. Thanks. Get left. Get left, honey. Left. Another fine tee shot by Fred Couples. This is what he has left. So once again, Couples putting the pressure on Tom Watson as Tom falters off the tee. He's in the right rough. What's he got there, Roddy? I think that one. Oh, Tom, after taking a long look at this one, only got 150 yards. He's got to hit a seven. He's gone at the pin. It's an incredibly brave shot, but... Oh, what a golf shot. Is this... This guy's the toughest player. He's better from the rough than I am from the fairways. Thanks. Buck 10 unit. Yes. Great shot. Thank you. 110, Joey? Yes. Just eclipsy, huh? Right. Playing short? Yes. Tom, I didn't think that shot was on. I didn't think you could squeeze it beneath the uh, trees. And, and did you decide to go for it? Well, 
I had to go for it. Uh, it looked like uh, either that or had to chip out to the side over here and then uh, uh, wait for wait for Fred to knock it up there close. Yes, Fred's got a wedge, a big tee shot. Leaked it a little right. Nice is it strength. enough? Oh, it is. Oh. Uh, he held his breath on that one. What'd you hit back there, nine? No, it was seven. Wow. Well, it came out of there. Sweet. After that great second shot of Tom's, he's left himself yet another 30 to 35 footer. Should be getting the pace of the greens by this time. Yes, yeah, a little more positive on that one. Look out. Look out. Hey. Oh. Great pot. That's more like the old Watson. Indeed, Roddy. Good firm putt, that one. And now Fred Couples for his fourth straight birdie attempt. Has it enough legs? No, not quite, not quite positive enough. Here. And as members of the Bally Lynch stud move to the next tee, Fred Couples and Tom Watson remain at even par after four holes. In Northern Ireland, Royal Port Rush is one of the masterpieces of golf architecture. With its typical links to rain, Port Rush's intelligence, precision, and balance of design captivates players. And as the site of the only British Open played in Ireland, has some of the world's great holes. Both players parred the fifth hole. We are now at the par 3-6, 222 yards. Tom Watson with the honor. That music is coming from the band up at the clubhouse. Well, it's not an Irish jig, but uh, Tom has found himself being able to dance. Well, they do say Ireland's a place to come if you want to have a party, but you don't expect it on the 6T. <laughs> I didn't know he could jig. This is what you're wanting, wasn't it, Freddie? Yeah. You want something it. to smooth it out a little bit. <laughs> Oily. Oily. Left side. I just watched the reset in concentration. That's been one of his great assets over the years, being able to switch on those steely eyes. And in the bunker. Which bunker was it in? First bunker. No, carried it in the back one. Okay. Well, Fred doesn't need any music to loosen him up, that's for sure. He's a loser's player and <laughs> loses a goose. That's the thing the Irish people love about Fred. He's so laid back. He hits it so far. He's uh, decided to try and go with a two iron here. I don't know whether he can make it up. Well, he struck that same line as Watson. But not quite as far, just in between the two bunkers. Now go high. To stay on the bank, that's a problem. So Watson from the bunker. Now Watson second shot at the sixth. Splash out, 30 yards of green to play with. Wants it to roll out. Oh, gorgeous little shot. Thank you. Now, Fred, these are the shots that you remember Fred Couples playing. He loves them. Look at him down on the steel. Sandwich. It's just so natural for him. Look. Rolling its way on. Beautifully played. It makes it look so easy. And you see so many other players make it look so difficult. Yeah. Michael Watson watching now as his father has this putt. Now he's hold three or four of these to save par. Previous occasions. Seven foot, fairly straight. No, oh, never got through the putt there. Annoyed at himself. And that's his first real mistake of the day. <laughs> Beginning to think it's time to move ahead. He's had so many opportunities. 
Yes, finally Fred gets ahead with the par. Beautifully hold. And the first change on our leaderboard. Fred Couples at even par, Tom Watson at one over. Both players par at the seventh hole. At the eighth hole, a par five. Both players have hit their tee shots. What kind of a shot does Couples have, Roddy? He's got quite a decent lie on the wet grass. He's decided to go to three or 269 yards. He's got to get it coming out fast. Bunkers in front of the green. Usually pretty good at getting these to come out hot. And that looks like a great golf shot. Oh, nice. Great round of applause. Fully appreciative of that golf shot. Thank you. So Fred Couples on and two at the par five. Tom Watson now with his third shot. Now he's got himself a tricky little shot here. He's got to come over the knob of a bunker in front of uh, the green. Only got about 60 yards sandwich. Ah, Popped it up. Good as he could do from there. So now Fred Couples for Eagle. Oh, looking good. Great ball. Thank you. A birdie. A birdie. Nice birdie, Freddie. Thank you. Not going to come. Thank you. Few and far between lately. Now Tom Watson for birdie. Yes. Yeah, the crowd love it. They know the steal of this man. Great save from Tom. Two birdies on the hole. Fred Couples remains one shot ahead after eight holes of play. We have come to the ninth hole at Mount Juliet. A par four of 424 yards. Both players have hit their tee shots. This is Tom Watson's second shot. He's got a five iron. Swing. Down the shaft, punched it in. It looks very, very good. Oh, yes. Didn't quite have enough club. Fred Couples with a six yeah. iron. Out of here. God. No, Joey. Yeah. Wow. Didn't it look like it's going a long way? Indeed, I don't know why he didn't like that at first. It's another birdie opportunity for Fred Couples. Struck it well. Oh, yeah. yes. Good. Two birdies in a row from Couples. Thanks, Tom. Knock it in. Thank you. He likes that. Yeah. Thanks. You get no more, or should I? Three in a row. Turkey? What do they call it? Turkey? And bowling? Turkey. Now Watson put his first butt this far by and has this troubling distance again for par. Oh. Nice putt, Tom. Uh, once again, the putter has let Tom down. A birdie for couples, a bogey for Tom. And here is the scorecard for the front nine. Freddie going out at 34 with those two birdies. And Tom Watson with a bogey at six and another at nine and 37. Now here's Roddy with the two players. Freddie, you uh, were knocking on the door, a lot of the early holes, and uh, it seemed to open the last two. You must be very pleased with the front nine. Yeah, I think a uh, great crowd, and um, we both didn't make too many putts uh, early, and then I made a uh, two-putt at eight for birdie and made a nice putt on nine. So there's no lead safe. And the more I can get ahead, uh, I don't want to relax any because Tom is about ready to string a few birdies. But it's been fun, uh, and it's always fun to play with Tom. Tom, a uh, little bit behind, a little bit uh, not according to plan. 
Well, I, uh, Freddie certainly outplayed me uh, on the on the front side, and he, he deserved to be more than three shots up. So uh, I've got to, I've got to turn it around on the backside to uh, to catch him. It's it's going to be a difficult chore. Make a few make a few putts, but also hit the ball a little closer to the hole than than I've been doing, and that uh, that might solve my my problems. But uh, right now, it, uh, uh, I'm a little bit too far behind. Roddy, something finally broke here with those birdies by uh, Freddie. Hmm? Yes, I think uh, he's played. He's outplayed Tom, and Tom knows it. So he's under pressure now in the back nine, and uh, it is playing quite long, and it'll favour Freddie. Yes, but uh, Tom's used to that pressure too. Isn't he? Yeah, he loves. He loves to come back, and uh, who, no better man than Watson to do that. All right, let's get back to the action. The tenth hole is a par five, 546 yards long. Both players found bunkers with their second shots. Here's Watson to play his third. I could hold it. If I get it out. And here we see, I suppose, one of the great players of this shot, Fred, the lazy, long backswing taken up sharply. Fantastic shot from Couples. Two. Come on this way. Great shot by okay. Freddie. Whoa. So I guess we just play it straight. He's had a good hard look at this one. He knows it's getting kind of critical here. Fred's in there about three feet. Got this to make a birdie in the tenth hole. Three behind, remember. Not much break on it. No, he never hit it. Just hasn't got that stroke looking positive today. Wow. Hey. Freddie almost uh, a little more than a casual look at this one. This to go four ahead. Yeah, that's a great birdie. Three in a row for couples, and now yep. in a commanding lead of four shots. That's the way it stands after 10 holes of play. The 11th in Mount Juliet is a par three, 172 yards, downhill and across water, Fred Couples to play first. And uh, really have probably the toughest pin position of the day today, tucked in on the left-hand side. Fred's decided to take a six iron. And the breeze has almost died to nothing. Uh, looks so easy. Oh, oh. perfectly played. Red couple of setting on form today. Just like old times before. Four, it's great four. to see him. Ball on the back edge. Now Watson. Now Tom, joined by his son Michael, 14 year old, who gave him words of encouragement saying, Come on, Dad, you can do it. Playing a six iron. Beauty. Push it. Right at it. Oh, great shot from Watson. And for once, Tom inside Fred. But Freddie now for his fourth birdie in a row. Got to be a little careful about this when he's coming off the fringe down the hill. Pin is placed on a little plateau there. Can't afford to charge at it. Uh, I'm pleased enough about that. After that superb iron shot, there comes a time in every match when you've got to hold him, and uh, no man better knows that than Tom. He's really been a great hauler out under pressure over the years, and he needs this one badly. Yes, he's got it. Great roar from the crowd. A good birdie for Tom. I ought to put a little spring in his step. Gets him back to even par. Fred Couples made his par there to stay at three under. And we come to the 12th hole. Par four, 417 yards. The green nestled back there on an angle against those trees. We had a little time to ask Fred Couples about Tom Watson's game. What Tom does best is uh, he plays in any conditions well. It can be calm. It can be windy, it can be freezing. Uh, you can shoot 20 under and win, you can shoot two over and win. 
And that's a sign of what I would consider, you know, and this is true champion stuff, but just a great golfer. Um, we all know good players and bad players, but great golfers are, are guys who play well all the time, and Tom has done that for a long time. Very good summation of Tom Watson's game by Fred Couples. And Tom puts it right in the fairway. Freddie Couples now. That looks a little right. And in the rough. So both players off the tee at the par four 12th hole at Mount Julian. And at the moment, Fred Couples enjoys a three shot lead. Golf in the south of Ireland is expanding and new courses are appearing almost yearly. St. Helens Bay a new Philip Walton designed seaside course in County Wexford is a mix of links and parkland character. Faith Lake Golf Club is another new layout in County Waterford, featuring many undulating greens. Photo Island is a Christy O'Connor Jr. layout in Cork Harbor that has hosted the Irish Amateur Championship for the past three years. Welcome back to Shell's Wonderful World of Golf. We're at Mount Julian in Ireland, where they have just opened an 18-hole putting course, beautifully designed, and Tom Watson and Fred Couples were on hand to officially open it as Fred Couples hit the first putt. Now back to the course and the action at the 12th hole, where both players miss the green with their second shots. Fred Couples to play first. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how Fred plays this one. He could uh, lob it out soft and short and let it roll down, or he can elect to pitch it all the way up to the pin on the slightly raised plateau. Difficulty here really is to get it up to the hole. This man has such a selection of shots, you never know which one he's going to play. Easy. <laughs> Great Good. shot. Good. Good. Easy. Huh? I got to work on that bunker again. That was good there. Thank you. <laughs> There's room inside that. Yeah. Nice shot. Thanks, Tom. So Tom will try and get it inside. What kind of a shot has he, Roddy? Difficult shot facing Tom here. He's absolutely no margin for error, but plays this little pop shot. He's just got to get it on the green quite fast. Oh, beautiful. And inside it, it is. Great try. See, I told you there was room inside. There's plenty of room. So pars for both of the players at 12, and Fred Couples remains three shots ahead as we move to the 13th hole. Tell us about it, Roddy. This 13th hole, par four, 436 yards, slightly downhill. No real trouble at all at the opening tee shot. The sting of the tail comes for the second shot, which the players have hit with the mid-iron, and they really have no option but to hit it over that lake, which is placed right in front of the green. A very challenging hole. Tom will be first to play. I'm quite surprised to see Tom hitting driver here. Downwind. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, what a star. Beautiful drive. Really split the fairway. Couldn't be in a better position. Driver here also for Fred. Wind coming off his right. I'll be trying to fade it up the left and cut it back onto the middle of the fairway. Now, oh, Freddie's got this one going right, too. And there it is. Second fairway in a row. He has missed to the right. Downhill, downwind. Yeah, 
after that huge tee shot. He's only got 130 yards and he's going with a wedge. He's got to hit it firm if he's going to be up. Get down. Pin over that Get water. down. Yeah, good solid shot. Oh, lovely shot, buddy. Oh, now, Freddie. Freddie's got to hit a good shot here. He's coming across the edge of those oaks. He's got to carry over the water. He's lucky that he's found a decent lie. He's got about 120 yards, and it's only a wedge. Go in the hole. No. Oh, wonderful recovery there from the right rock wow. by Fred that Cumbers. Floated. Yeah. Didn't it? Yeah. Jeez, Louise. Go Freddie now for birdie. From about 25 feet. He's going to have to be a little bit careful with this one back down the hill. It's a little bit faster than he might think down towards the lake. Probably left lip is his line. Oh. Surprised ah. him. Slower Two. than I thought. And that's a par for Fred Couple. Back in. Yuck. Now Tom Watson for birdie. Yeah, you see the old jaw setting there. Watson knows well he's got to hold this one. Time is running out. Quite a big swing on it from the right. Got to be firm, got to be positive. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Man of steel. Good putt. All the come I gave a kid a ball and he threw it back to me. No, I never said a word. <laughs> and Tom Watson keeps whittling away at Freddie's lead. It's now down to two after 13 holes. We're at the 14th hole, and here is Roddy with the two players. I saw you got some uh, words of encouragement from your son Michael in the 10th hole. What did he say to you? He said, hit it harder, Dad. <laughs> what, the driver or the putts? <laughs> I left every putt short in the front nine except for the last two holes. Fred, you didn't really expect uh, Tom to kind of fizzle out and hand you this match on a plate, did you? No, not at all. Uh, I did, uh, you know, up until the last two holes, I've, I played very, very well, and I expect to maybe hit some better shots here the last five holes. But uh, as true a champion as he is, you know, he's, he's earned everything he's ever done, and I think I'm going to have to earn this today. Well, there's a lot of golf left, so let's get back to the match. Okay. The 14th hole at uh, Mount Juliet is a par three, 194 yards downhill. Tom Watson to hit first. 194 yards, elevated tee, wind gusting from his right. He's elected to play a six iron. Oh, I hit it. Ah, darn it. Don't bury. Well, the first rank bad mm -hmm. shot we've seen Tom hit with an iron all day. Freddie also having second thoughts about club selection here. This tee is exposed on a on a high level in the green, of course, tucked in among the trees, is sheltered, so difficult to get it just right. Uh. And Freddie's also found the bunker. That hit and kick way left. Now Tom Watson. Now Tom with a straightforward splash shot. About 20 meters from the hole. Now will it bite? Yes. Good shot. He plays them all the same, Tom. Thank you. As opposed to Fred, who has a, an array of shots. So far. The shot facing Fred is a little shorter than Tom's. And uh, again, we don't know what kind of shot he'll play, but I imagine it'll be one of these lazy lob shots where he just drops the club down and lets the ball roll on down. Hit it. Oh, he did hit it. He did hit the price there. Still. Oh, well, let's take a look at this again. Freddie Couples with this amazing touch in the sand. Roddy, 
Well, you'd have to say he was actually unlucky to hit the flag that time because it took the spin off the ball and he probably ended up further away than uh, if he didn't hit the flag. So now Freddie for par. This is probably the most difficult putt Freddie's had of this length all day. He's going to dive very sharply from his right. Yeah. Oh. Just didn't get it right. First bogey of the day for Freddie. Ah. Then it opens yep. that door. Tom. Yeah. Got ball. Yes, I put his foot in the door the last time. Can he do it again? Now, quite a swing on this one. It's also quite fast. Outside the right lip. Time for par. And if he, sh he should hold this, it's uh, back to one shot. And who would have thought that four holes ago? Oh. oh. Both players bogey in the 14th hole. And Fred Couples retains a two-shot lead. The score remained the same after 15, where both players parred. And we came to the 16th, par four, 433 yards. Tom Watson on the tee. He really has driven the ball quite beautifully all day, Watson. Here with a, electing to play a driver downwind on the 16th tee. Yes, uh, oh. Another cracking tee shot from Watson, hitting it over that bunker at 250 yards on the left-hand side of the fairway. He can carry over both sets of bunkers if he lets it go. Okay. And he certainly didn't hold back, and he looks fairly happy with it. As well he should be, Roddy, right in the middle of the fairway. Both players hit the green and took two putts for pars. And so at the end of 16 holes, the score remains the same. Fred Couples with a two-shot lead over Tom Watson. Two shots behind, two holes to go for Tom. Yeah, but it's better than match play. He's uh, going to be a two-shot swing in one hole very easily with these two fine finishing holes. You think he can make it up on uh, these two holes? I wouldn't say even money, but uh, he'll give him a run for his money, I think. Well, let's see what's going to happen as we pick up the action at the 17th tee. 17 is a par 5, 515 yards. It is reachable in two. Tom Watson. Well, I think the fine weather has brought another one or 2,000 people out here this afternoon. It's close on 5,000 people watching Tom Watson on the 17th tee with the driver. Beauty. And that's a big one right down the tight line. Cracking tee shot from Watson. Very nice. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. That's what he has left. Now, Freddie's probably aiming on that big tree. Don't think he can carry over it. It's been there for a long time, and it's pretty big. Going with the big driver. Beauty, Fred. Oh, he yeah. cracked it. It's just going to maybe glance that big tree, and if it misses it, it'll be yeah, miles you know, down. I looked at that a couple times, and I thought... That leaf almost got you, though. The worst thing that'll happen is it'll blow on my back, so I'll top it in the water. And... <laughs> Drop it. And, yeah, and you make a six. What Freddie's referring to is a loose leaf that was blowing right near his feet. Watch this on the replay. See the leaf there? But his concentration was up to it. And he hit one of the best tee shots of the day. Both players almost drove it identically, but Tom will be first to play. Now the shot facing Watson, 213 yards, the breeze freshening off his right. He needs a good one here. Yeah. Hit it left side. Perfect club and a great shot. Best off the bat. Six. Oh, they moved, they're moving over there, so I gotta chip it. What do I have front? Now, Fred, from 10 yards further on, is using a six iron. It's a long way for a six iron. You have to hit this to get it up. Oh. 
He's gone straight at it, and if he has enough club, it's uh, an absolute corker. Oh, man. No, just one club too short. Where is that? Way short? <laughs> Not as short as you think. Now, Fred did a little better with that second shot than we thought. He left himself only 15 or 20 feet uphill. Really a perfect position to attack the hole. This for Negal, if he was to pop this in, that would really put the icing on the cake. Never quite hit it. Left himself a little bit to do. Now you can tell by the look on Tom Watson's face what he has in mind here. It's a little chip in. He loves this little shot. And he needs it bad right now. Yes, yeah. looking good. Oh. Good chip for Tom, but he's left himself in that problematic distance of his. Or his birdie. Everything to lose if he misses this putt. Two shots behind cannot afford to miss this. Got it up. And that really is a heartbreaker for him. And now Freddie for a birdie will increase his lead. Beautiful birdie for Couples. And so at the end of 17 holes, Fred Couples leads by three. We'll be back with the final hole in just a moment. The Chair Point Abbey in nearby Thomastown was founded in 1180 by the Cistercians. In fact, the abbey owned Bally Lynch until the suppression of the monasteries by Henry VIII in 1541. The 18th hole at Mount Juliet. Let's take a look, Roddy. Jack, this uh, 18th hole is a classic championship finishing hole. The drive has to be between these two big oak trees and the sloping fairway down towards the lake makes it quite a difficult drive. The second shot is with a long iron to a green defended on the left hand side by that big long bunker and on the right by some scruffy mounding. In all a truly great finishing hole. And one that can give you a lot of problems if you're not careful. Now Freddie looking decidedly more relaxed after that missed putt of Tom Watson in the last screen. He's got a three-stroke lead, and the, really the only thing he cannot do here is hit it in the water left. All the room he wants on the right. Going with the driver. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's exactly what he did. He hit it down the right Poor side, John. safety first, and who can blame him? Now, Tom Watson, and he really needs a miracle. Beauty. Cracking tee shot, best today. Right down the middle of the fairway. Well, he's going down swinging anyway. Thank you. Beautiful tee shot by Watson. Now Fred's left himself with 189 yards into the breeze. He selected to play a four iron. And I'll be surprised if we see him go anywhere near the left hand side of the green. That's not in the gallery, is it? Yes. Clever play from Couples. Yeah. Indeed a clever play. Staying Jump. away from the trouble. A three shot lead. Now Tom Watson who has to try to make something happen here. Now from 177 yards with a five iron Tom Watson and uh, bottom line is he's got to hold it to have a chance of tying the match. And that's what he's probably trying to do Roddy. Well it's right at it he's gone for it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he fought till his last shot, you have to say that. Great finishing shot by Watson. Wasn't it good indeed? Oh. Nice play today. Thanks. I had a good, I have a this nice is day. good for me. Nice cool. day. Marvelous second shot here by Tom Watson. Great gallery turning out here to applaud these two great players. 
been a marvelous afternoon in Ireland. We've had a marvellous day. All of the 5,000 people now basking in the sunshine, and we've seen some fine golf, particularly from this man, Fred Couples, who has this putt for a round of 68, 25 footer across the slope, right to left. Well, he's given it a chance. Yeah. Got it there. Yeah. Rolling in. It's for round of 71, which of course is very respectable. Oh, and that's been the that's been the story of the day for Watson. But yes, the crowd who have adopted this man as one of their own, man has come to Ireland seven or eight times to play before the British Open, yes, getting man. a warm reception from the Irish galleries. Now couples for par. Yes. Shoots three under. Thank you. Nice Thanks, man. Tom. Enjoy it. Thanks. Shall we? Rematch sometime. Yeah. He's calling for a rematch. He's calling call for a rematch. In about an hour. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, Tom would like to go right out again, too, I think. Final score Fred Couples, three under. Tom Watson, even.